welcome back to my channel. I'm Athena. This is my channel, Stitching Goddess Designs. This is a channel about cross stitch and Harry Potter. Um, look, I got my boards hung up. Um, I did have a casualty that I need to fix. One of my Hermione pins. <laughs> look at her five head. She's supposed to have like little extra hair curls right here. Um, Story time. Have you guys, have you, okay, anyway. Ooh, bring it back. These, I found these at, it was either Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. Um, They're just like tart tin thingies. I don't know, but they're, um, they do have like little, pad footy thingies. I mean, they're supposed to be for like display. Um, I didn't think that, like I realized that they were thick, but I didn't realize they were that thick. So I was like trying to just hammer a nail through the hem. No. So then I asked for my husband's assistant and he went and got like some sharper screws and I wasn't trying to make this like a big, huge chore. So he was right here on my carpet and he was just, and I didn't even take any of them off. And he's trying to hammer the screw to like make a hole so that I could hang them. <sighs> Anyways, some of her hair flew off. I'm gonna glue it back on, she'll be fine. She'll be fine, but she got a five head. <laughs> okay, he eventually had to give up on that. Take it into the garage, hook up a drill, drill some holes, it was the whole thing. They're there. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? <laughs> this is a job about cross stitch. <laughs> These are needle minders for anybody who's brand new and is wondering like, what in the world? These are needle minders. They're magnets that you put on your projects to hold your needles um, and make everything pretty and fun and all the little accoutrements. Um, it's going to be a squirrely day today, y'all. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Uh, there's weather. Um, I started getting a headache since last night. Still rocking it today. So the trend continues with uh, Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we have headaches. <laughs> on Tuesdays, we wear pink. And on Wednesday, we have Wednesdays, we have headaches. Okay. I've got some stitching to show you. I've got magical haul. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got two, I got two boxes of Magical Haul to show you. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Um, we have a giveaway to award. Um, yeah, let's jump into it. it also, happy April, everybody. Um, I hope everybody's having a great April. We're, what, three days in? Um, oh, this doesn't even tell me a day. That's helpful. Um, anyways, I think it's the third. Um, and with that, I'm reflecting on like how March went. I normally would be like giving you some stats on March. So February stitching fell off. Um, I was still kind of keeping some stitch count, um, stats and stuff. Um, March stitching picked up a little bit, but stats nada like I counted a few things here and there mostly I was just writing down what I actually worked on versus um actually like counting how many stitches I was doing because I wasn't submitting anything for fandom stitching so I wasn't counting anything um I'm kind of sad about that because I really did want to keep stats this year um but also letting things go um because if you're forcing yourself to do the things, then it's not fun, right? Right. Uh, so, was, well, I'll discuss some April plans too. Let me show you what I've worked on. <laughs> We're five minutes in. Let me fill you in on what I've worked on. Um, this is what I was working on the entire time Ymir was running. Ymir is almond M&Ms, and it's actually an almond underscore M-N-M-S. That's her floss tube. I 
well, her Instagram is that. Her floss tube is almond M&M's. She, um, hand dye silk. She's stitcher extraordinaire. She stitches 56 count over one. She stitches with a beading needle and like 12 ply silk. So it's really thin. Um, she is like a fashion icon. She works in the fashion industry and I've seen some of her amazing pictures that she's done for like modeling some clothes. I mean, she's not a model, but she has done some stuff like that. I've seen some like woman is all walks of life. And now she can officially claim that she is a member of the, um, speed project ultra marathon I'm sure it's a very elite group of people that have actually completed um, the LALV race. This is from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. I went into it in depth last week, if you haven't seen that video. Um, she did, I think, 300-ish um, miles. She did find a shortcut. She shaved off miles here and there. Um, I, sh I should say her team was finding shortcuts for her, shaving miles. Um, so that, cause there's no planned route. You plan your own route. You get there, you get there how you get there. Um, but you got to get there on your feet. Um, she completed it on Sunday, on Easter Sunday. Um, there was a whole group of us on a chat. Um, the speed project was live and also one of her team members went live on Instagram. So we got to watch her finish live. Everybody in the chat was cheering. I was I recorded all of us and sent it to her so that she could see all of us cheering for her. Um, a lot of us were tearing up and crying. Um, <laughs> we were in public places crying. People are probably looking it's like, what? I mean, I was at home, but some of us were in public places. And it was on the last day of Women's History Month. And she did that. She did that. She ran 300 miles. Well, ran slash walked, but she did that on her feet. 300 miles, six days. I don't exactly know. I feel like it was 150 hours, um, is what I saw. Um, yeah, it just, she did that. <laughs> she did that. And it's just amazing. It was, it really felt impressive empowering, inspiring, her determination, her strength, her courage, her everything to do it was just crazy. Um, and I was stressed the entire time, the entire time. Um, I did get to talk to her later on after, um, later on on Easter Sunday, it was late at night and um, she's definitely in recovery mode. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, <laughs> she's got some recovering to do. Um, it wasn't easy. It was definitely hard on her. Um, but she's got talking about maybe doing it again next year. <sighs> um, anyways, while she was running, good Lord, while she was running, a whole group of us, um, we are using the hashtag stitch and run. Um, while she's running, we're stitching in solidarity. I physically cannot do, I cannot run with her. I cannot, I couldn't even walk with her. Um, I am, I can walk a mile before I'm done. That's it. I got a mile. She did 300. Okay. So I sit here and I stitch and I try to in solidarity, we're stitching while she's running. So, all of this to say I'm rambling. Good Lord. I worked on, if you're allergic to the uh, F word, look away. But I worked on this pattern. This is by, this pattern is by Pretty Rude Embroidery. I think I have failed to mention that a couple of times. Pretty Rude Embroidery. Um, and it is charted to be stitched in a Lisa Frank style. Okay. So, the actual pattern has you um, using DMC and doing like a solid color into a solid color into a solid color. Let's see if I can't, a multitude of colors. Let's see, I probably have this. Um, 
Hold please, hold please, hold please. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. I was hoping. Okay, wait. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, pretty rude embroidery. And this is how it is charted. So you can see it's a solid color it, and it blends all the way through. And then you've got the white. And so it's in that Lisa Frank style. If you're a child of the 90s and 80s, you know what Lisa Frank is. Um, however, I have been using Ymir's hand dyed silk in the colorway Neon Lights. And it's from one of her um, Advent boxes. The f first batch of Advent boxes that she did. So, and I'm just stitching it vertically and just striping it and it's coming out how it's coming out. Um, I want it to, oof, it's really getting washed out pretty bad. Let's see if I can't lower the, no, that's not going to work. Um, anyways, it's getting washed out. I mean, I feel like the colors are way more vibrant than what you're seeing. Maybe right there. Fabric is 18 count Ada. I believe this is a God brain work brain. Um, Jody from Steel City Stitchers. Thank you. Um, I believe this is the Jody fabric. And yeah, I worked on this. I think I switched over on Saturday. If um, yeah, I think on Saturday and Sunday I started working on my monthly stitches because I wanted to try to get them done. Um, but I worked on this Monday through Friday, I believe. And that's how far I got. So absolutely loving it. And then, um, like I said, I switched over to my monthly stitches because y'all, I'm, I'm behind left, right, and center and I'm trying to catch up. So I figure maybe if I stitch the small ones, I can get all the way caught up. That's what I'm going with. So I worked on February. Um, this is a Lizzie Kate. It's called a bit of February and hold please. Jeez Louise. I've got the, I've got floss hanging. I just left my needles sitting there. I've got all these needle miners and do you think I have one on here? No, no, I don't. Um, here we go. I got February all the way done. And again, it's getting washed out. The lighting is just it's because we're got gray overcast lighting outside. Um, but there's that. I clearly, I switched up colors. Um, but I pulled my palette and went with it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. I'm a loss of words. Um, that's a purple. It's showing up like really dark and weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, trying to like get this lighting to fix itself. Anyways, started over here on, where are you? This February one by Heart and Hand. Um, this is the Monthly Mania series. So yeah, I'm going to be stitching it in that darker purple. That's the letters here. Um, stitching the heart in the darker purple. This is a cast iron skillet or something like that. And then that pink and then rather than doing the specialty stitches in there I'm gonna be just filling in with I think I think I'm gonna do a light pink and a white inside the flower so that I can bring some of that white in from this pattern so yeah that's where I'm at um, still need to do March and now it's April yay um, my eyes are watering really bad today sorry I did find I did actually find out just because um, one of my la last infusions, I don't know if it was the last one or one before. Anyways, I just happened to be like sitting there. I'm like, gosh, man, I just won't stop watering. And the nurse looks over at me and she was like, does that happen all the time? Uh, a lot? And I was like, yeah, a lot. <laughs> like there's just days where my eye is just like running around. And she's like, that's, um, been noted as a Tysavri side effect. The infusion that I'm getting is Tysavri. And that's been noted as a side effect. Watery eyes. Anyways, so that's all the stitching I've done. That's it. Yay. 
But I did a lot of progress, a lot, on the Lisa Frank one. Um, I'm like, that's a fo that's supposed to be a focus finish this year. So, and then I stitched that entire February. So it was two things, but it was a lot of stitching. So, anyways, um, floss of the month. I for April. Good lord, with the getting washed out. Um. Alba Stumbadler is the inspiration for my floss of the month this this month, April. <laughs> Here are the colors. Um, I, <laughs> I want you to stop it. I want you to go back on autopilot. Can you do that? No? Oh, what did I do there? <laughs> I'm going to stop, <laughs> reset, and see if this can't fix itself. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully the lighting can figure itself out and start auto adjusting uh, again without me forcing it to adjust. So here are the colors inspired by um, Alice Dumbledore's robes throughout the movies. And if you wanted to be entered to win um, a free set, you had to say the word Dumbledore. And I have everybody on a wheel. Um, where's my wheel? Hmm. There it is. Okay. We've got everybody on a wheel. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Stitching in the stacks. Yay. Um, I do not know that I have your mailing information. Please. I know I've seen comments from you before. Um, please message me on Instagram at Athena X Stitches and get me your address and I will get your information over to Stacy. Stacy will mail it to you from Thread the Needle Stitchery. And thank you so much, Stacy, for partnering with me. Um and now we have floss tube nose to go with the watery eye. Thank you, Stacy, for partnering with me and doing all of these things. Also, I am failing miserably on doing rep duties. I have a code, y'all, for Thread the Needle Stitchery. It's always linked down below, but I sometimes forget that I need to be talking about it. Um, go to Thread the Needle Stitchery. She's got an amazing online needlework store and use the code GODDESS10 for 10% off your order. Also, right now, I don't know if Goddess 10 will work on top of sale, but she does have sale going on right now because they're going to be moving. They're moving from Florida up to Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee? Kentucky. Tennessee? I think it's Tennessee. I'm going to go with my guttings. The first, I, th I believe it's Tennessee. Um, they're moving up there, and um, they would like to reduce as much inventory as possible for the move so they don't have to move as much so she's got a moving sale going on all the things use the code goddess 10 10 percent off throw it in there even if you're buying stale stuff it might work i don't know i didn't actually ask before i came on here talking about it um so what else do i want to say um what else was i going to say i should have I'm going to take a screenshot stitching in the stacks so that I know that you are the winner and I will remember that. Um, Y'all, I have my security Pepsi here. Don't worry, I'm never far from it. However, I have a giant cup of tea. Um, it was to the brim. Mm. That's a little cold now, but that's okay. Um, I feel like I need the energy today. Okay. What else do I want to talk about stitching wise? Plans? I'm holding my planner in my hand. Catch up. Try to catch up on, I did not do whip goal again for, for March. Um, when I, I feel like when I broke February, I may have broke whip goal for me for the year. We'll see. Um, you never know. In January, I stitched what were my stats for January? I stitched 15,000 stitches in the month of January. In February, um, total stitches, 3,000. Um, and it was probably less here in um, March than even that. I, 
hopefully I get back to 15,000 stitches again in a month. That would be amazing. Um, but I would like to finish these February flip, February month, monthly smalls, stitch the March monthly smalls, and maybe even just continue on and stitch the April monthly smalls. And then I think I will probably switch over to the um, Simple Gifts Halloween chart by Praiseworthy Stitches. Um, hosting a stitch along for that. It's hashtag 12, 12 gifts of Halloween, hashtag one, two gifts of Halloween, um, Sal. Um, and I would like to stitch the April portion of that so I can continue to stay on top of that. I am, I did stitch it through March, so I am caught up on that one. Um, mini bottles. The um, mini bottles... The goal was one a month. Technically, I'm going to I'm going to just call February a wash. I'm not going to like catch up because there's more than 12. So, even if I I have 15 of them now and I I don't know if she's going to continue making more. But I do have 15 of them, so it was going to take me more than a year anyways. I wasn't going to be finished by December anyways, even if I stitched one a month. I'm going to call February a wash. I did a mini bottle in March yay um would like to do another mini bottle in april and i have started i did start one because i was thinking like when i stitched the burrow one like okay that was february's now i need to move on to do marches um i'm gonna give myself permission Ooh, i almost said the g word mm, and i hate that mm. there okay there was a lot of people that told me i needed to give myself grace last year and it happened so much that I began to hate the phrase so um okay not giving myself grace I'm gonna give myself permission to say February's mini bottle did not get done I stitched marches yay <laughs> that's what happened um okay so before we move on to magical haul um yeah, in a perfect world, I would be coming back to you next week and telling you that I got all of the monthlies done, including April's. So, I mean, I still have February's to finish, like like a little a half of, or I don't know, three quarters of that one for February to finish, and then stitch both of March's, both of April's by next week. Let's see. I do have a lot of shirts that I have to be making. The um, spring stitching vibe shirts will be going out this weekend. They'll start going out this weekend. Um, I'm not going to say they're all going out this weekend, but they're going to start going out this weekend. And I forgot last week to even say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who ordered. Um, it was an amazing day. It was a 24-hour sale. So many orders. I am so blessed and thank thankful for everybody who ordered and all the support for all the for for the spring stitching shirts. So, um, super excited for that series and cannot wait to get you all the summer and autumn and winter ones. Um, also, as while we're talking about shirts, um, the order form did close on March thirty first for the last um, for the March shirts. Um, it will be opening again, I'm going to say Friday. Um, I'm going to go with Friday because I was shooting for today, but today's, I don't think today's going to happen. Um, I'm going to shoot for Friday for the order form to open again. Uh, I can say for sure we've got one Pandora pattern. I already know what, what, what shirts I'm releasing. We've got one, not pattern, one Pandora shirt is coming out. Um, I've got another previous design that's coming, but it was on a bag before. Now it's going to be on a shirt. So that's another thing that's coming. It's coming out of Pandora's box and there's a brand new one that's in there as well. So we're going to have three designs for the month of April and later on in April, I'm going to say in the, la in the later half of April. I'm not even going to give you specifics. The later half of April, I'm going to have um, a new shirt that's going to be... Um, 
Oh my gosh, what am I even trying to say without spoiling it? I'm going to be partnering with somebody to be bringing you a new shirt. So um, that's going to be amazing later on in um, the end of April. I'm hoping that that shirt is going to be the launch of my website. Um, I've been, I got the website sort of going um, back in January and then I really just got overwhelmed with all of the options and things and settings and all of the things and I just was avoiding it like the plague because I got so overwhelmed um, and just doing the order forms was easier so but it's not easier if that makes sense I have a plan in place I have a friend who's going to be helping me we have a, an appointment tonight to start working on it accountability Plus, she's going to be helping me work through options and everything. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, hopefully, I'm shooting for end of April, the website soft launching with that one shirt. Um, that's the only shirt that will be available on the website. And then we'll hopefully, once I'm in and I'm comfortable and I'm doing the things through the website, we can continue um, using that going forward rather than the order forms. So... Huh, I'm excited. I will say, uh, don't hate me for this, but with the um, website starting to be used, like the tax settings are going to be per Shopify's rules. Um, so I think that it's like if you live in the same state that I'm shipping from, so if you live in Missouri, I think you'll get taxed. I think that's going to happen. And I'm sorry. But I can't um, control that and I hope you understand so um, it shouldn't be too much I hope it, it should be fine but there's that okay I'm done with all that um, let's go into would you rathers and comments and then we'll go into magical hall and we should be done so last week's would you rather would you rather tour a submarine or a space shuttle um, the, the comments had me cracking up. Um, okay, my husband just sent, just texted me a phone number out of the blue for no reason. No context, just phone number. Okay. Sue Gonzalez said, um, oh, we should, we need to have a Dumbledore discussion. We need to. Um, Dumbledore had an excellent choice of robes, but I agree with you on his poor choices. Poor choices. Mm, that, yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. Um, she said she would rather tour the space shuttle versus the uh, submarine. She's been on ships, and that's close enough um, for her. Plus, she has heard too many stories about submariners. Great job on the finish. Um, yeah, I'm sure those like those big, those big like navy ships. When you get down underneath, it's probably all small and tiny in there too um fun fact sue was in the navy so um yeah she spent a lot of time on ships amanda stitches space shuttle but she can't confirm that she hates deep water and hates flying so either way um she's taking copious amounts of xanax <laughs> she said or i'm passed out dead from a heart attack Amen. Amen. And then she, a submarine? A submarine? Did you already forget about the submarine that detonated recently? Okay. If you're talking about, I mean, was there like an actual like huge submarine? Or are we talking about that like the the deep space? Like what? what is the, not deep space? The ocean diver. The, it, I mean, I guess it was a submarine, but it... It was like a little mini one. Three people aboard? I think there was three or four people aboard. Um, yeah. If, if that's the one you're talking about. Um, yeah. No. I don't want to go down in the ocean. I don't want to go up in the space. I want to just be here. Um. Mmm. Zandy. Zandy Ziggler. Zandy Ziggler. Welcome. 
I haven't seen comments from you before. Thank you. Um, I hope you're liking, subscribing, doing all the things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, no submarine for me. I hate even watching on TV. When the camera follows penguins or polar bears under the water, I have to look away. But I can't swim. Um, sorry about your toe. Hope the pain is... Yeah. <laughs> thank you all for the, the for the toe love. <laughs> for the little piggy love. But she now Ugly Betty. That's her name now. She Ugly Betty. <laughs> So not pretty. Um, Killy, welcome back. I haven't seen your comments in a long time. Um, Killy, um, <laughs> my poor toe, yes. Um, she also has mixed feelings about Dumbledore. Shady is a good word to describe some of his actions. Some of all of his actions. Oof, he had his own hidden agendas and he wasn't good. <laughs> I don't think he was... A good person in general like at all but it's that two-faced like you think he is Ooh, yeah um and she says she loves the colors I picked thank you thank you thank you welcome back Kelly <laughs> okay shingle springs Deborah um oh my maybe we need to wrap you in some bubble wrap I know, and I have a I have a cane that I should be using for stability, but I just I keep forgetting it, and I need to like take it with me on my walks and see if that doesn't help. Two days walking, also, I plan on going for a walk today. That'll be three days. Um, hopefully, I can remember my cane. I think it'll just give me that little bit of stability, so I'm not like leaning so far onto my right. Um, anyways. Deborah would rather tour the space shuttle, not in space. I feel like it would be more open than a submarine. Really? I don't think so. Just from what I'm like, like watching TV things, I feel like the submarine would be more open. Um, she said she could barely manage the submarine ride at Disneyland without claustrophobia sitting in. I didn't know they had a submarine ride. Um, that would, I don't know. I don't know if I would do that one. <laughs> Jenny, quilt junkie. Ah, the nut. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> um, she said, would you rather lose your toenail or literally anything else in the whole world? <laughs> um, yeah, it, it hurts. Um, <laughs> she said, I hope you get a new one really soon and you like that one better. <laughs> I cannot, Jenny. Um, She's commenting, your mirror is such a baddie, you can't even measure it. Yeah, she is. Um, Dumbledore robes are so fly. And can't wait to see the Hagrid floss pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of these characters, as, I'm, as they're coming up on my list, I'm like, what kind of colors speak to these characters? It's, it's interesting. Um, so, would you rather, assuming they're both at sea level, the spaceship... <laughs> I've been on the USS Bowfin at Pearl Harbor. It's floating in the water, so I gotta go with the spaceship. Okay. I've never toured a ship. I would like to. Um, <clears throat> I definitely feel like the ship is gonna be more open than the submarine. Um, Lori, the flying cross stitcher. I'd rather eat dirt. <laughs> because I have done a submarine tour in Baltimore it was half in the water and too claustrophobic and space shuttle fear of heights thing now if it was a tour of a submarine sandwich I choose that <laughs> I cannot <laughs> as soon as you said touring a submarine sandwich all that popped into my head when I read that comment was the magic school bus <laughs> and who else is a child of the magic school bus um I could just imagining them shrinking down and like getting in there and touring around the sandwich and seeing the different layers and that's what I'm picturing um yeah sh sh Lori is also thinking about getting a tiny sushi house on a sushi house on Amazon for a mini build um yeah mini builds um definitely an adventure um, the apothecary stitcher, Christine, <laughs> poor little piggy. Um, I immediately thought of his robes when I saw the Dumbledores. Um, would you rather, I would love to tour a space shuttle 
And if it were up in space, all the better. The submarine would be cool too, though. This was tough. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a daredevil amongst us. <laughs> I should have known. Um, Christine used to race motorcycles. She's, she's definitely all about, yeah, let's go to space. Let's go to the deep ocean. Let's do the things. Um, Bobby from Pump Pumpkin Creek Primitives had the same exact question about the spaceship and submarine. Are they on land? <laughs> Can they be on land? Um, Allison Ber Bergoni. I feel like I've been told how to say your name before. Ber and I forgot it again. Burgoyne. No, because it was like bouncing. Boing. Burgoyne. Burgoyne. Yes. <laughs> two kisses today. I remembered. Allison Burgoyne. Thank you. Welcome back. It's been a while since you've commented. Um, man, do I feel your pain with those stairs. She has tendon, tendonopathy in the left ankle and sciatica, which mainly affects my left knee and thigh. And God, stairs are hard. Um, yeah, going down one, going down and up one leg at a time. Um, yeah, why is it the left? God, it's my left too. Um, Krista, I agree with you on the strange love-hate feeling with Dumbledore. I, I don't know that there's any love. Honestly, I don't think there's any love in my heart for Dumbledore. Like, he was so two-faced and so underhanded about everything. Like, I don't put him at umbrage level of hate, but I just... Yeah. Shady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like him. Um, a Praetor, ap I always do this every time, Apparator, um, let's see, I have been in a rocket at the Space Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, so I guess I would want to try the submarine. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's, okay, so it's on land, so there are space shuttles you can tour on land, all right. Um, Liz, Brand Cat, uh, Liz is... Stitched by Liz here on Floss Tube. Um, she said stairs are dangerous. Um, would you rather? I have to say space shuttle because I do not do the ocean. No, thank you. If they're both on land, what? whichever has the shortest line. <laughs> Speaking as someone who just did Universal and Disney, she's like, I'm not standing in another line. <laughs> no. Which stitch, Pam? Um, oh boy, here we go. Uh, would you rather? Oh, claustrophobia sitting in just thinking about it. I'm saying they're on land because if they're not, I'm not on the tour. Um, as they, as they are both on land, I choose the submarine. I think it would just be bigger inside. Yeah, I do too. Um, she says running is not a thing I do unless something big and scary is behind me. Super impressed with runners. I don't even. I mean, that fight or flight kicks in and your body might just start running anyways, but I wouldn't get far. I wouldn't get far. I promise you that. Um, new, new Atari. Jeremy, um, would you rather? I'm with you that regardless of my answer, they need to both be on land with the doors open. I'd go space shuttle as I'm more interested in space than beneath the waves, but I'm much too claustrophobic to be in a tin can anywhere that doesn't have easy access to oxygen. Um, <laughs> he says, it's always refreshing to find someone else who has thoughts on the life and lies of Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I would actually like to read that book. Not that I think that that author is going to ever write that book, but, um, yeah, that would have that would have been an interesting book to read. Um, the mini is adorable. Thank you so much. And then, yes, okay. The, my Harry Potter correction person, the person in charge of Harry Potter corrections, the bookshop in Diagon Alley is Flourish and Blots. I, I knew this. There is also Tomes and Scrolls in Hogsmeade where... What I was thinking of was the scribulous writing implements, um, and scribulous is like, um, where is scribulous? Is it, is it, 
I'm thinking, okay, I'm actually thinking Wizarding World, Universal Studios. It is, oh, it's in the, it's in the big purple bluish building on the back end. It's like when you're coming off of the Green Gods right. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. Okay. Um, isn't it Wise Acres? I think Wise, is it Wise Acres? Look, I need a Harry Potter correction again. The big, the main part of that building. I feel like it's Wise Acres. Okay. That was the end of that. Um, oh, take. Um, so we're back to, we are back to, would you rather for, um, house versus house. This is Harry Potter themed. Would you rathers? And what do we have this time? I mean, I'm just going to skip that one. It's so blah. I mean, would you... It is, would you rather be brave or be cunning? Like, would you rather be a Gryffindor or be a Slytherin? That's just... Some of these are not good. Um... These are just so obvious. Y'all, would you rather be brave or be cunning? Be strong or be clever? Be supportive or be supported? Dress in red or always wear green? <laughs> like, why are these so, like, uniquely Gryffindor versus Slytherin? Good lord. Um, I'm going to have to go through these and actually, like, find some good ones, I think. Um... Yeah, these are just be bold or be great. Openly defy a rule or find a way around the rule. Again, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Slytherin. Um, I know it's house versus house. I mean, and I guess it is red versus green right here on the cover too. Hmm. Are they, like, are we gonna... Okay, hang on. Okay, here. I just flipped until I found something that looked a little bit more interesting than be brave or be cunning. Um, would you rather develop a powerful and deadly spell or invent a new way to use magic? I mean, I feel like that's either inventing like a weapon or inventing like something that could be helpful. A new way to use magic though, I mean, switch magic to science, which I feel like a lot of times science is magic, uh, invent a new way to use science, which doesn't those always turn into a new and deadly way to kill somebody. I swear to God. Um, I'm going to go with, I mean, invent a new way to use magic because a powerful and deadly spell, I'm just, we already have that. We already have that. Invent a way, a new, a new way to use magic. That's what I'm going with. Um, and I'm going to bookmark this because I'm going to forget. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then we are going to go, going on to Magical Hall. So, currently have two-ish subscriptions for, um, Harry Potter uh, mystery boxes, subscription boxes. Okay. So I have Akio box, which is actually, um, I think it's just called magic delivered. It's magic delivered and it's, and it comes quarterly. Um, they're a little bit behind, but not terrible, terrible far. Um, the other one I lit joy ended. So when lit joy ended, I started, um, loot crate. Lit Joy, Loot Crate. I know it sounds similar, but I started Loot Crate. Um, I was kind of seeing the picture that was supposedly the box you're supposed to start with. I'm finding out now that that's just a stock picture. And that's not even close to what you're possibly getting for that box. Um, because when I, when it automatically renewed for the next box, it has the same exact picture for the next box. 
So I don't remember when I first paid. I want to say it might have been December when I first when I paid for my first box and it was supposed to be here in January. And then I automatically renewed in February and then that was supposed to be here in March. It is April 2nd and I got my January box. So by the time it renewed in by it automatically renewed in February, I didn't have any inclination on when the January box was even coming and I've already been charged for the second one. I just went ahead and canceled my subscription. All um oh, I'm going to have to get up because there's a whole piece of magical haul over there I have to show you. I did sign up for something else. Um I've already showed you part of it. It's the um Bradford Exchange calendar, a perpetual calendar when that is through because that's just I think it's like six things, six deliveries, six or seven deliveries. When that's through, I might look into some other different um, subscription boxes. Um, but let's dive into Loot Crate. Loot Crate came, again, three months late. Um, it came in an all black box and it did have the Wizarding World logo on it. So I didn't realize that this was a licensed box. I'm not against licensed merchandise. I have licensed merchandise everywhere. I just didn't realize that this was like the official licensed subscription box of Harry Potter. So, um, 100% not, not thrilled with the content of the box, the timeliness of the box coming um the packing it was a giant big black box and literally everything was just thrown in there it was like no packing no presentation nothing um so yeah I'm overall I'm happy to have canceled this subscription so the first thing um I've already opened it clearly um so what we got a set of Hogwarts House Relics Magnet set. And, yep. The other thing about getting a licensed merchandise box, I because I have so much licensed merchandise already, um, I run the risk of possibly, like, getting duplicate stuff. Oh, there's a, I'm just now noticing, there's a film on this. Hold, please. Um, maybe it'll look, I, I was going to notate how I didn't really like the look of this. Maybe it'll look a little bit better without this film on it. I'm trying to get the film off without scratching. Not successful. Good job. I scratched it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I will say there was only like five or six items in this whole box. No, it doesn't look any better. But at least it's not weird textury looking anymore okay as a little tin sign like it's thin I could bend this thing um, and it came with a little tray thing to set it on um, I don't why was why would it not be red I'm confused about that um, so there's that um, we've got a pen it is. It's a Weasley Wizard Weezes pin. Um, it does have two backs on it. And then, oh, clearly we have dishes. Um, I got a Grim, another, I, I think I have two already. This is going to be the third one that I have. I'm disappointed because this is the actual licensed, like it came in this box. Um, Grim teacup set. And it's just... And then the plate is, my dear, you have the grim. It's just very um, blah. <laughs> but there you go. Um, and clearly I enjoy a large cup of tea. But, I mean, that'll probably just be on display with the other grim cups. And then the thing that I actually do like in here is a um, crossbody bag. Um, it's like got the fabric on there. It's like the letter. There's a good thing here. 
um, although it was slightly sewn, this was slightly sewn to here and I kind of had to like cut it apart because I, that was not supposed to be sewn together and it did come with a strap. So I'll probably be using this when I go to the parks. Um, I do have some crossbody bags that I already used, but it's always good to have another one and it's nice, like canvasy kind of material. So that's, that's it. Um, That was really like the only thing that I liked in that box was that bag. So magnets, a pen, a little tin sign, the cup and saucer, and the bag. And do not recommend. <laughs> I would say three out of ten. Do not recommend. Um, the other one I have is the yeah magicdeliver.co. And... It was, you know, formerly Akio box, but there's all the, there's all the things. Um, yeah, they've got a Facebook group, all the things. Okay. So the first thing in here, let me show you. Here's the theme of the box. Hopping Hot Chocolate. Um, Wisby's Sweet Shop presents Hopping Hot Chocolate. So it's like Wisby's Sweet Shop themed rather than Honey Dukes or... Um, what's the other store called? Sugar Plums. This is called Wisby's Sweet Shop. Um, this is a non-licensed box, which is why they try to use clever phrasing to get around that. So, made from the world's finest amphibious cocoa beans. Not chocolate frogs, amphibious cocos. Amphibious cocoa beans. How can we get around saying chocolate frog without saying chocolate frog? <laughs> so, these boxes always come with a shirt. Um, in fact, I'm wearing one right now <laughs> and they typically do have some sort of staff thing on the front. They look like, that's like kind of the series they're doing now, like staff shirts. And it has that same artwork from that flyer I just showed you. Um, so I like that. Then we have a Newt cookie cutter and it came with a ginger cookie recipe and a vegan ginger cookie recipe. Um, I'm actually going to be mailing these off to um, Lynn from Lynn X Stitches. She's going to make them. Um, she likes ginger cookies, all the things, but I mean, I'll get the cookie cutter back from her, but she's going to make them um, for an event we have coming up later on. So there's that. <laughs> the whole bag is like plushy. The whole bag is plushy. We got plushy beans, and they're called Jelly Jinx beans. Um, highest quality beans in in what? In Britain. Um, the original magical sweets and treats. Tasty or terrible? What will you get? And then the back even has like all of the things. <laughs> I mean, serving size six pieces. Calories three. Sugar two hundred thirty three percent. Calcium two percent. Not a significant source of Protein, fluxweed, or vitamin D ingredients, honeysuckle, fairy floss, love, sp spite, soot, <laughs> lemon puree, essence of ick, peacock feathers, bone powder, grimly, gr grimly grass, exploding ginger, bitter root. All flavor charms are naturally produced by our trained confectioners. And then in, it says the flavors are cabbage, sherbet lemon, tutti frutti, boogie, Bat Blood, ooh, and Toasted Marshmallow. Um, Jelly Jinx Candy Co. is not responsible for any drastic reactions, sickening or sweet, to this candy product. Consume at your own risk. Not recommended for wizards under 5 or over 155. Um, there's a little zipper on the top. And this is Tutti Frutti. And this cute little thing. Um, we've got... What do we have next? Um, this is Bat Blood. He's got little things. <laughs> I cannot. Um, who's next? This is cabbage. Does not look happy to be cabbage. And we've got sherbet lemon. Ooh, it's sure it's lemon. <laughs> Does anybody else love watching videos of babies trying lemons? God, it's my favorite thing. Um, toasted marshmallow. Oh, toasted marshmallow. Love it. And bogey. 
Oh, he's got boogies. I love how the back is a little bit different than the front on all of these. Um, so yeah, we've just got some, some plushy beans and they all have different faces and it's freaking adorable. Um, also in this box, I got a bag full of a plushy bag full of mandrake, little mandrakes too, plushy mandrakes. Um, these are adorable. Love this. Okay. Then we got this like little, um, accessory pouch with cute artwork on it love it and it fits in here it doesn't it didn't come like this but it fits in here and it's similar artwork from the same artist um a treat um plate um the only bad thing about getting another treat box like this or candy style box is that my honeydew shelf is overflowing so i think i'm going to pull all the chocolate frog paraphernalia and make its own shelf and then, um, so I can sh clean up the Honey Duke shelf. Um, inside this super cute box, we have the same artwork that you're seeing here on a little tiny drawer. I was showing this off to some friends last night and it was, I think it was Christine who said that looks like an art jar. And it totally does. It's a cute little ore jar. So this might be living next to me and not on the candy shelf. I do have an ore jar here and it is pretty full. I don't know a little frog in there. I got this jar from um, Jenny from Jenny and Nancy from the Bougie Stitchers. Bougie Sister Stitchers. Um, okay, I don't need to close that. Then we got another lined journal book heart okay so they're lined journals these are hardbound books they have amazing artwork on them I have quite a few of them now though and I'm not I just I don't feel like I'm going to be writing in these but they are really pretty to display um the bindings colored the inside um yeah I think the back probably looks the same. Yep. They're just beautiful to display. I just don't see myself actually writing in them. But it also did come with a quill pen. A little writing pen. And it's not, like, it's plastic. But it's cute. And then I don't know what it is with the tin. Are we on a tin sign trend? Is that is that a trend? Um, this one is... Nice little um, matte finish to it, but yeah. Um, I think this box is about $10 more than the other one. I think this one is 65, that one was 55. Um, you can definitely see the quality variance in these. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with, um, Occhio box and um, I'm gonna get up because I have more to show you for that perpetual calendar um, so hold please I'll be right back okay <laughs> um, I've already shown you these so I've got we've got Ron for February I still have not fixed his hair yet but there's Ron for February and here's Hedwig for January That was in the first shipment I got. This was the second shipment. So I've got all the extra tiles. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the extra tiles, but they're all down there. <laughs> um, and then it's got a spot for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think maybe 10, 11, 12 sit down here. Um, the month that it is should be sitting up here. I don't have April. Um, the Okay, so this is from the Bradford Exchange. If you purchased it, if you went and purchased it right now, you would start with getting your January, February figurines. It's meant to have been like purchased in December, I guess. And then you're set up with January, February. You get this in January then. And then you can start displaying your calendar. You have 
the January, February figurines. And then by the time um, March and April rolls around, you're getting the next two figurines. Because I think you get two figurines in a time. So um, it's got two like hanger things on the back. Um, solid wood. It's heavy. Um, it comes with, uh, let's see, I can show you some of these possibly, nope, those are, those are numbers. I know that there are some, these are all just blanks. No. Hold please. I'm going to find them. So you can see I have a birthday, a blue birthday cake. There's pink birthday cakes and blue birthday cakes. Um, what in the world? Okay, here we go. Found one. Um, there's for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And they have, they just have different, like, here's for 4th of July or any other Memorial Day, Labor Day, like, whatever holidays. Um, New Year's. So they have different things for the different um, holidays. And I put a blue birthday cake here for my son's birthday on the 27th. He'll be 22. Ooh, I'm old. Um, but yeah, so I have it as set up as the April calendar right now. I need to find somewhere to hang this. I don't really have a lot of wall space left. I'm kind of toying with actually play, hanging it in my office upstairs. I have more wall space up there. And I feel like I look at the calendar more when I'm working versus down here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So for now it's sitting on the floor while I decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, but yeah. And then I, it came with a ton, a literal ton of just blank ones, which good Lord, I'm throwing them. I put a blank one at the start here just because I mean, the month started on Monday, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why there's like, there's probably like 15 or 20 blank ones. I'm like, I don't, why do I need that many blank ones? Oh, and then I did end off the month and then there's still a ton of blank ones left. So anyways, um, yeah, once this is finished and I have this calendar completed, um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to look into a different subscription box. So, I, you know, what I can't believe is that I got up out of this chair. Y'all are on like a big ottoman thing that's kind of like smack right there. Um, I had to get up and like step over and around and like get get it and then come back. And, and I didn't fall. I literally stood up from here and was like, okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> like, don't. Don't fall. Um, oh, and it has like little footies to sit if you were going to just sit it somewhere and it also does have like little pad things on the back if you're hanging it on the wall so it doesn't like scratch against your wall so okay other than I mean so far other than Ron's buck teeth and brown hair um I'm loving the calendar okay I think that's it I think that's all I got <laughs> This is probably well over an hour because I rambled a ton. So, um, I'm going to get some stitching done. I got I'm going to work on the website tonight. I got some model shirts to make. I need to get some stitching done. Um, yeah, I got things to do. So I'm going to let y'all get onto your next floss tube. Like Jen always says, I'm gonna let y'all get out of here, get onto your next floss tube. Um, and with that, have a very magical stitchy week. And for now, mischief managed.